हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर फोर्टीन ऑन ग्राफ थियरी इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट पाथ इन ए ग्राफ वी हैव सीन दैट ए सीक्वेंस ऑफ एजिज इज कॉल्ड ए पाथ इफ टर्मिनल वर्टेक्स ऑफ एनी एज इज द इनिशियल वर्टेक्स ऑफ द एज अपियरिंग नेक्स्ट इन दीक्वेंस सो यूजिंग दैट डेफिनेशन ऑफ पाथ विच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन लेक्चर नंबर थर्टीन we are going to discuss about reachability and connectedness in graph theory so first we will understand this definition of reachable uh, vertex suppose i have two vertices say v and u in some simple directed graph then vertex v is said to be reachable or accessible from the vertex u if there exist a path from u to v if there exist a path from vertex u to vertex v then we say that vertex v or node v is reachable from the node u for example here i have taken this diagram and you can see that if we start from 1 then there exist a path from 1 to 2 and 2 to 4 there exist a path from node 1 to node 4 therefore we can say that vertex 4 is reachable from vertex 1 similarly here also uh, we can see that there is a path from 1 to 4 this is another path if we call this as path p1 then we have another path in which we have only one edge that is edge connecting 1 and 4 so this is another path from vertex 1 to vertex 4 so to establish the existence uh, to establish the existence of reachability Uh, we have to show that there is at least one path from one vertex to another vertex so here uh, we have seen that there exist a path from vertex 1 to vertex 4 therefore 4 is reachable from 1 similarly uh, we can see that if we consider this uh, path say p3 equal to if i am going from 1 to 2 first i am considering this path from 1 to 2 and then from 2 to 3 so there exist a path from vertex 1 to vertex 3 therefore i can say that 3 is reachable from vertex 1 vertex 3 is reachable from vertex 1 because there exist a path from vertex 1 to vertex 3 uh, we can have more than one path also as i discuss i can establish another path from vertex 1 to vertex 3 if i am going in this way if i go from 1 to 4 first i go from 1 to 4 and there is an edge from 4 to 3 also so i obtain another path from vertex 1 to vertex 3 so if uh, if i want to emphasize that vertex 3 is reachable from vertex 1 then i have to show the existence of at least one path from vertex 1 to vertex 3 similarly we can write one more path suppose i go from 1 to 2 then i go from 2 to 4 and then i go from 4 to 3 then i obtain another path from vertex 1 to vertex 3 first i am going along this edge 1 to 2 then from 2 to 4 and then from 4 to 3 this is another path so because we are getting path from 1 to 3 therefore vertex 3 is reachable from vertex 1 now if we have 
several paths from one vertex to another vertex then the path of minimum length is called a geodesic if a node v is reachable from a node u then a path of minimum length from u to v is called a geodesic and the length of a geodesic from the node u to node v is called the distance between u and v and is denoted by this notation d of order pair uv so here we can see that 4 is reachable from vertex 1 here we have a path uh, from vertex 1 to vertex 4 therefore 4 is reachable from vertex 1 and here i have written two paths from 1 to 4 and uh, to define the geodesic from 1 to 4 i have to find the path having minimum number of edges length of this path p1 is 2 and length of this path p2 is 1 so the path of minimum length is called geodesic so here p2 is geodesic for this two vertices 1 and 4 that is the meaning of geodesic if one vertex is reachable from another vertex then there are several paths so you have to decide the path having minimum number of edges or having the minimum length so here this path is having length 1 therefore geodesic is p2 is called geodesic similarly for this uh, reachability of 1 and 3 reachability of 3 from 1 uh, we have seen that there are several paths so here i have path of length 2 this is also path of length 2 this is another path of length 3 but we are interested in the path of minimum length so the path of minimum length is having length 2 p3 has length 2 and p4 is also having length 2 so this p3 and p4 are geodesics both are having this same length so p3 and p4 become geodesic if we are discussing the reachability of vertex 3 from vertex 1 so that is the meaning of reachability and geodesic if a node v is reachable from node u then a path of minimum length from u to v is called a geodesic the length of a geodesic from node u to node v is called the distance between u and v and is denoted by distance between u and v so here for 1 and 4 distance between 1 and 4 is 1 because the path of minimum length is having one length and here distance between 1 and 3 is 2 because the length minimum length is 2 and uh, if we consider u and v equal then we will assume that this distance is zero for any node u from itself and this distance from a node u to node v whenever v is reachable from u is written in this way and it satisfies the following property that distance between u and v is always non negative distance between u and u is zero distance between u and w is less than or equal to distance between u and v and distance between v and w for example if i have distance between 1 and 4 then i can consider uh, this is less than or equal to distance between 1 and 2 plus distance between 2 and 4 and this last inequality is known as triangle inequality so sometimes they can ask you to write down the triangle inequality in this sense if vertex v is not reachable from u that is it is not possible to establish the existence of any path from u to v then in that case v is not reachable from u and we will use this notation in that case distance between u and v is infinity
now if v is reachable from u and u is also reachable from v then it is not necessary that these two are always equal there v if v is reachable from u then you may have the distance between u and v and if uh, u is reachable from v then these two are not always equal they can be different also so remember all these definitions here we have uh, discussed about reachability of one vertex from another vertex if there exist a path from vertex u to vertex v then we say that vertex v is reachable from vertex u now whenever v is reachable from u there will be a path from u to v and v may have more than one paths also from vertex u to vertex v so out of all those paths which exist from vertex u to vertex v the path of minimum length is known as geodesic and the length of that path is called distance between u and v and it is denoted by this notation so remember these definitions we will be using them in upcoming lectures related to reachability and connectedness thanks for watching.